stop recording our site, don't notice. Sorry, mate. No recording. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're here at Airbus in Stevenage, an SG1 postcode. Google calls it Airbus Defence and Space. Gunnels Wood Road. Looks really nice from the outside. And they've even got the Christmas tree up. Yeah, as you zoom in inside there. It looks like there is a little bit of a reception area through the revolving doors there. But for now, let's have a look on the outside because there's lots to see. Car park full when the lights flash. Private property, no trespassing. Authorised Airbus staff and visitors only beyond this point. So we can't go beyond this point. But the grounds look really nice. Bit of an older part of the building over there. But this section over here looks really new, really modern. All the ground looks like it's just been landscaped with all new cobbles. Sorry, mate. I've, I've read the message, it's all right. It says, it says. Sorry, mate. No recording. No, I've read the sign. It says no visitors allowed beyond the point. So I'm outside, so I can record from out here, but I can't do it on your site. Okay. Yeah, don't worry, mate. I'm not coming in, all right? Okay. So yeah, the date is only the 29th of November and they have their Christmas tree up already. That's awesome. So security must be based in this little cabin here. We've just reassured them that we're not coming on. We're gonna do all of our stuff from the outside. Look at that, anti-climb spikes at the top there. Ouch. Once again, we've got a planning notice. Airbus Defence and Space. A single story infill extension. Ah, wonder where that's gonna be then. We'll have to hunt that down when we get David up. Visitor parking, staff parking either to the left or the right. Just park where you can. Parking must be at a premium in this place, look. They're even parking on their own double yellow lines. So reading from their own website, Airbus always has been at the forefront of innovating new technologies with a pioneering spirit that has redefined the aerospace industry. Our products bring people closer together, helping them unite and progress. We strive to continually push the boundaries on what is possible to safeguard our world for future generations. And that's what we're doing. We're continually pushing the boundaries of taking photos and flying the drone so that we don't lose these rights. This is normal. We will fly where we are permitted to and we will take photos where we are permitted to and there is nothing you can do about it, Airbus. Mate, you got a minute? You got a moment? What is this, box bike delivery? What is it? What is it, yeah? So, who can use it? Um, is it something you have something you need delivering? Are you saying people in this local area can contact you, you can collect and deliver once instructed? The person to ask is the boss who's inside at the moment. So is it a part of Say Store then? The business? No, no, no. Just run from the same building? Um, it's just the yogis the deliver the parcels here in the van and the local parcels in the van. So you rent some storage and that's where your parcels get delivered to then you come and collect and take them with the bike to the local area. Got ya. And this is nationwide is it? Um, I don't know, it's just a local company. Just local. That's a great concept. That's a great concept. Was that the boss just arrived? Uh, no, no. That's not. Just another worker. Alright, well I won't hold you up. No, I'm, I'm just a YouTuber. I'm in the area just for today. Anything interesting like this that I've never seen before, I'll try and ask some questions and find out more. 
for the viewers. So thank you so much. Am I being filmed? You are being filmed, yeah. You're out in public. Uh, are you a reporter? Yes, I'm a reporter. Well, you're not uh, signing on the dollar or anything, are you? No, 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 that's fine. I won't get you into trouble then. <laughs> Have a nice day. And do your strap up. <laughs> Take care. Are you filming me? Are you a reporter? So we've come around the corner now to this other entrance and it still looks a little bit boring. We have some car in the car park to the left going crazy, doing handbrake turns of some sort. I wonder whether we can get a glimpse of that or whether we will be able to hear it again. It's just in the distance there, revving his engine. Looks like there's two cars tearing up this car park. But we'll leave them to it for the moment. Mr. Box Bike Man is just across the road, adjusting his helmet. <laughs> and this is the next Airbus entrance. All visitors report to security all staff badges to be clearly shown. Barrier being closed as it should and they've got this temporary sort of barrier lined up to the right so that you can't just zip in. It's an online, it's a YouTube channel. What channel is that? DJ Audits. DJ Audits. Is that electric? Sorry? Is it electric at all? Pedal assist. Pedal assist, yeah. yeah. What size motor is it? Sorry? What size is the motor? No idea. No idea. Is it uh, about 14, about 14 uh, mile an hour? Oh, it's a maximum. So have you got many parcels in there then? Is it? Quite some weight to it then. Nice one, mate. Yeah, I think it's an amazing concept. Hopefully you can uh, franchise it out and grow. Take care, my friend. Thank you. Look at the little cone at the top with the barbed wire on it. <laughs> so yeah, as you would expect, all turn styled, access, nice and secure, loads of cameras. They've even got some nice secure bike storage in there, look. That's awesome two-tiered as well it's nice to know that if you do take your bike to work it's actually being stored somewhere safe and it's still there when you finish your shift so there's only one thing left to do on this place security are nice and relaxed my friend I'm not coming in or anything okay I'm gonna stay outside but I am gonna fly a drone over now a drone with a camera just to get some aerial shots if you've got anything you want to discuss about the drone, tell me now before I get it out, okay? So the only thing that you've mentioned to me is stay behind the gate. So we are now behind the gate. Let's continue. So, Stevenage Airbus. As always, we've checked on drone assist. There are no flight restrictions in this area. So let's go and have a look what this place looks like from above, shall we? I'll just reposition myself across the road. What are you filming, bud? Airbus. We'll get a nice wide shot of the place. The lady coming out is just going home for the day and these two chaps that asked what we are filming. Let's get nice and high, shall we? And see how big this place is. So it's a little bit foggy. Even the drone says low visibility. That's brilliant, first time I've seen that. Let's come a little bit further down <laughs> so we can actually see the subject. Look at all this ducting and pipe work. 
on the roof. We'll go to the left of the chimneys and we'll try and see as much of it as we can. Got lots of construction happening on this building here. Bit of demolition going on. Wow, looks like they've literally ripped this side well this section of the building away and they're actually doing it right now how lucky are we to get this as the snipper grabs the lift shaft and tries to rip it from its joint Look at that, grabs it and tries to rip the lift shaft away. And then with it being a piece of metal, he'll find the metal pile, which is choosing to be down there, is he? And you'll see we've got dust suppression sprinkler blasting down, so none of the neighboring properties are affected by the dust. But you can just see, can't you, how it's literally ripped all this section of the building away. This is a historical shot. This building looks like it's been here for many, many years. And here's another shot of this big demolition 360 snipper hydraulic arm ripping away at the lift shaft. It really is wanting to cut it first before it pulls the whole thing and tips the whole thing over. And now it's made a cut. He hopes he's going to pull it forward and only the yellow piece is going to detach. He doesn't want to pull the whole lift shaft forward and tip it over and it's worked. His plan has succeeded. Come and have a look, mate. You know they're demolishing at the minute, don't you? Yeah. You've got the squib, you've got the hydraulic arm. That's just taking uh, the lift shaft apart. It's snipping it, look. Taking it away bit by bit. Yeah. They've got the little sprinkler blowing down on the floor, so nobody's getting all dust in their neighboring properties. How much does this one bus? A thousand pound. A good one, isn't it? DJI Mini 3. That's a good one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Good luck, mate. All right, have a nice day. Christmas soon. <laughs> so yeah, the lads that are just passing with the ladder, taking an interest. We're always happy to tell people what we're doing. I mean, who would not want to get their drone up when something like this is happening nearby? Come on, nobody normally gets to see behind the scenes footage like this. And we didn't expect it. We're here to see Airbus, you know. Are they just about to load a big item onto a trailer or a crate? Or are they moving it from building to building? On this occasion, no. But what a fantastic sight to see. How you doing? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. drone, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, how are you? you all right? I'm Alex. Hi, I'm DJ. I'm, yeah, DJ. You are part of a site at the moment, aren't you? Part of what, sorry? Part of the site, aren't you? Have you got your pass on you? Am I what, sorry? Are you a part of this site? No, I'm you're a member not. of the public. Okay, so you're over on our site at the moment with this? Yes. Okay, do they know you're doing it? I've just told the guy in the orange vest. Right, okay. All right, mate, it's just, there's a lot of stuff moving around. I wouldn't want any damage to come to your equipment. Yeah, let, let me show you. Yeah, um, yeah. What I'm I want to know what you're doing with it. I'm mainly interested at the moment in the demolition of this building here. Right. What did this used to be? Um, it was a central office block. And now it's moved into the newer one to the right, is it? That's correct, yes. Because he's currently dismantling the lift shaft and he's, yeah. he's using his hydraulic um, pincers 
to yeah, take yeah. it away. It didn't last you three or four days yet. Well, it's, it's now focusing on this lift shaft here, look. Yeah. And it's taking yellow piece away bit by bit. It's very, very interesting. You don't get to see this sort of thing every day. Right, and what? Because it wasn't yellow the other day, it was blue yesterday, because I was actually out there looking at it. Yeah. So what's the yellow come on? What's the no, no, it, it's a lift shaft. Look. Yeah. So the lift shaft's been more exposed, doesn't it? Yes. Okay, and what's your interest with this? I'm telling you now, look that. Right. I mean, where could you go to and yeah. watch action like this? No, you couldn't. Only couldn't here think. in Stevenage right yeah, now. Yeah. Yeah. I've been watching some stuff recently where someone's been over the top of devastating stuff. Um, really quite famous as well because um, they've actually been selling their stuff of demolitions, um, stuff in the war, Ukraine, all the things that have been happening, uh, bad sites, you know, like regarding sort of like um, catastrophes, things like that, tsunami, something goes up over the top of everything. So they capture the footage and they sell the footage? Yes, yeah, oh. yeah, for whatever the, reason. The, they've got the copyright of that footage? Yes. Because yeah, they've yeah, gone yeah. out and took it. Airspace, so, car park space and all that lot, I don't, I don't understand how it works. So I've had a quick look around to see if there's anything aerospace related yeah. on show and there isn't. Right. So that's great for your business, uh, oh, yeah, intellectual yeah. property, you are keeping your secret secret. Well, yeah, I, I get that, yeah. The only thing that, that's on display is this amazing demolition. But yes. let's not beat about the bush. You can restrict movement onto your land, yes. but you cannot restrict Absolutely movement no, in got, the space. I've got no right to say you've got to take that down, no. So as I'm coming around this corner here, yeah. looking to see if there's any open shutters, yeah. I'm interested in anything interesting for my viewers. Right, okay. We're recording this right now, yeah. and you're on it. Right, cool. So that's it, my friend. We're not planning on robbing you. Right. We're not, no, we're not, sure um, we, know, we know what you're doing and everything else like that. So. Of course, what I've just said could have yeah, all been seen, a lie. I've always seen this stuff. You've watched my stuff? Uh, I've, someone very recently, I've seen some really top HD drone stuff was doing some really, really brilliant things. Really? Regarding heavy duty stuff, yeah. Things yeah. like this, carnage, that, that kind of thing. Uh, there is another channel on YouTube called PJ Audits. Okay. He does it, he does a lot of heavy duty machinery as well around industrial estates, but yeah. It's as simple as that, my friend. All right, all right. We're giving people behind the scenes action yeah. that nobody would ever normally see. Yeah. And this is going to be a piece of historical footage now. Yeah. You know, this is a listed building, this one, stage four. Oh, this side here is listed. Is, yeah. I'm, I'm focused on that right now. Is it that one there? Yeah, it used to be the Avalon propellers many, many years ago in the 50s and 60s, all that sort of thing. So Propellers? Got, yes, the Avalon propellers, all that sort of thing. Right, OK. We started doing stuff before British Aerospace, so yeah, that's just... Pretty nifty bit of kit, really. It's almost. Uh, so, was that the on. original building on the site then? Yeah. That one there, and then they've linked it to this. Was this next? That was next, yeah. Many years later on, when that came about, and the whole main site came off of that. That was the original manager's headquarters. It quite looks big, doesn't it? It's huge, isn't it? Yeah, it's fucking big. Um, one of my feet. So, so, do you know this one that's being demolished then? Yeah, it's called the uh, Cob Central Office Block. Central Office Block. C O B. Oh, it's got a code, does it? C O B. Yeah, C O B. Yeah. yeah. Because I did notice, I went to the start of the site, round the corner, yeah, and took some video one, of that. Yeah, that great. looks amazing, don't it? All the landscaping around it. Yeah, it's called Orbit House. That is, that's our new one, which replaces this one, basically. So it obviously is IT and a restaurant, all that sort of thing, in there? Yeah, yeah. Right. And they've even got the Christmas tree out, in there? They have, downstairs. yeah, they put out the great expense for that sort of thing. What's the plans for COB then, now? They're going to clear that. I think it's going to be a car park, because we have to use car parks from Argyle Way on the other end of Gunnels Wood and all that sort of oh, thing. Oh, that'll so. be brilliant for you guys. Or, what, a multi-storey, or? No, I don't think so. And hopefully, if we win certain contracts, it's likely to be, uh, we're hoping, a new clean room, which will be good for us. Oh, ah, brilliant. We'll well, the future's right. bright then. Nice okay. to meet you, my friend. Nice yeah, to meet you. Had to come over, right? Yeah, no problem. I like talking to people. <laughs> yeah, take care, mate. So, he told us that building used to be the office block, COB. I love it when people from the site come over, show an interest. So, let's get David back. And just across the road, another section of the Airbus site. And we've got a solar orbiter, whatever that might be. Next to some generators and some, well, fixed generators. And in the distance, we've got some satellites. 
But to get any closer, you'll have to go into the private property, no trespassing. And you can just see them down in the distance over there in the staff car park. And that concludes the video from Airbus here in Stevenage. The listed building there, the building down at the back that's being demolished. The guy that kindly came out and spoke to us and told us a little bit about the place. The security that had been professional. The first guy tried it on, no photos allowed of the building. But once you let him know that that's nonsense, they soon, well, he soon stopped saying that garbage. So we've noticed here we've got like an unsecure sort of barrier and like makeshift. You'd expect better from Airbus really, wouldn't you? But apart from that, we've got no complaints. It's great to see we've captured a piece of history and we're going to move on. So I hope you enjoyed that video from Airbus Stevenage. If you have, give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye bye for now.